Good morning. Om Tat Sat. All of the books and all the conversations and satsangs keep talking about an introspection, inspection within, meditation, contemplation, knowing the levels of our own consciousness, waking, dreaming, deep sleep, Vaishvanara, Tejasa, Prajna, Turiya, the fourth state of pure consciousness. How do we go about remembering this right in the middle of life? It's all well and good, very good, very well, very good to have a time every day for meditation and contemplation that is set aside. But if you do that 30 minutes a day just to pick a number, what do you do the other 23 and a half hours a day? How do you maintain constant awareness of these levels of consciousness and the totality of reality and the center of consciousness, the Atman, the capital S self, right in the middle of day? The finest, easiest, most suggested way is through mantra. Om Tat Sat. You hear me say this over and over and over again. What is it? Om is a symbol for all of reality. It is that which is. We experience waking. We experience dreaming. We experience deep sleep. And there is consciousness that permeates all of those three. We call it the fourth state or Turiya or Tripura, the one that operates in the three cities, the tree Pura. How do you remember it? Om is the finest mantra that there is for that. Om Tat Sat. If you go through the teachings of yoga, the, the entire process of yoga is outlined in the Bhagavad Gita, in, in the 18 chapters of the Bhagavad Gita. And what's the bottom line? What's the final outcome of the teachings of yoga that are outlined in that text? If you look at it, you will find that the final outcome, the final suggestion, so to speak, maybe not literally the last verse, but the end of the text, the end of the teachings is Om Tat Sat. Literally, that's what's there in the book. You can go look at it yourself. Om Tat Sat. Many, many of the mantras have this. The, uh, in the Upanishads, the ancient Upanishads, the shortest, we've talked about this often, the shortest, most succinct of the Upanishads is the Mandukya Upanishad. It's about Om. It's about Om. So the Upanishads are about Om. In the heart of the Yoga Sutras, the shortcut that is provided is Om in chapter 1 of the four Padas of the Yoga Sutras. And the last word, as I just said, the last word, not literally the last word of the last verse of the Bhagavad Gita is Om Tat Sat. In Gayatri Mantra, I'll talk more about Gayatri in another talk. Om Bhur Bhuvaswa Tatsvata Vrenyam Bhagoda Vasudhimahi Dyo Yonaha Pachodayan is an outline of Om. It starts with the word Om and the whole rest of it is an outline of the meaning of Om. Om Tat Sat. Sat is easily called reality, capital R, meaning the totality of all of the gross realms of existence and all the subtle psychic astral planes, heavens and hells, if there are such things, all of the jhanas, some call, or the lokas, all of the planes of the subtle realm, and the causal ground out of which all of this springs, all of that is contained within Om. That is Sat. It is existence itself. Ta, that, Om. Om, that Om, Om, Tat, Om, that Om is reality. Om, Tat, Sat, Om, that alone is reality. So allow this suggestion, allow this to permeate life all day long. Allow it to just come on its own. It will arise inside. 
and in some way it will remind you that you're living in existence. You're living in truth. Allow the, I playfully said because I, I just enjoy the word, allow the magic to happen. Just play with it. Just allow mantra to become a constant companion. If you have an initiatory mantra, a guru mantra, then that note that that too emerges from Om and recedes back into the meaning of Om. There are many, many mantras, and all of them come from Om and return to Om. So remember mantra. Use it. Let it be a constant, constant companion. And as questions come up, you'll get them resolved. You'll get them internally resolved through your contemplations, through asking questions of trusted people, whether that's me or Matri or any or other people in our network or community or other people. You just trip all over mantra. You trip all over over Om. I have a lengthy article on my website you can take a look at it that outlines the meaning of all but please hang out with it let it be a constant companion om tat sat om tat sat om tat sat thank you for listening please play with om om tat sat have a wonderful day and a wonderful meditation and a wonderful evening or a wonderful afternoon whatever time it is there, and remember, Om Tat Sat, Om Tat Sat, Om is what it's all about, Om Tat Sat. Thank you for playing, be happy, bye-bye.